Hi everyone, welcome to Phoenix. Day 10, we're gonna walk down it. First thing we're gonna do is cross the road. And luckily the lights changed. Because we want some food and I see something right there. And Nur Tabagi. We got some, I'm not sure, I think they're Chenapuris, but you'll have to let me know. Yeah. And of course you got tea. Of course, nice refreshing tea. Oh, it is a Chenapuri. And her, her tomato is like sweet and spicy. Mm. Oh, nice. Can I, can I, can I, can I? Mm. Oh, wow. Great tomato. Mm. Refreshing hot vanilla tea. It's actually it's quite a soft potatoey filling rather than the usual uh, chana filling. So I suppose this is an alu puri. Puri. <laughs> alu puri. Puri. Mm -hmm. Wow. Really nice. And Nora Tabagi, you must come try it for the tea, but definitely ask for the tomato relish. It is so good. Tomato is brilliant. Right next door to the food, which is there, you got a pharmacy. And, and a general shop that has lots of little kids' toys and sunglasses and things. And their clothes, Ricky will probably show that. I'm just going to swing around because there's a mosque. A massive mosque here. And uh, BNV Trading. Not sure what they do. Trading, it's probably like crypto and stuff. Oh, a kebab, they've got a kebab in there. Nice looking kebab. Shushu, 25 pounds. Tomatoes. 125. And they still have watermelons. Yes, watermelons. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Yes. And this is a kankaree. Fishing rods, telescopic fishing rods, but they, they're rusted. Uh -huh. And there's a river right there. Could go fishing. <laughs> you have to use one of those nets. There's a bridge there, and it's flat. There's stairs that you can actually get all the way down to the river. So if I had got that fishing rod, I could fish here. It actually is pretty beautiful. I can see an old stone wall up ahead there. But what a beautiful place to have in the middle of a city. Back in the land of narrow sidewalks. Can't fit two people. We parked Susie down that side street. She looks okay. But there does seem to be parking in front of each of the stands. So if you're actually coming to do some shopping at a particular place, you can pull over and find a piece of parking here. Hotel Dado, that actually means shop, so it does mean shop, and it is a shop in there. With pastries, not pastries, sweet, I don't know what they're called. Pastries will do. Chocolate ones. There's a bus in the way of my beautiful old building. Beautiful old building between cars and buses. Russian flag umbrellas. It does rain quite a lot in the center of the island. Fluffy shoes because it gets cold. Yes, it gets cold. Aren't they cute? It's like a fluffy flip flop. When you look at this area from Google Earth and you're looking down and you can see there's a big parking. It's only for taxis, not for you, only taxis. <laughs> oh, Safa, you are here now. There's Briani, and Seafood Palace. Lots of food here. There's an MCB with an actual branch. Are we on the wrong side of the road again? There are just snacks everywhere on that side. I think this side is where the clothes and the furniture and the banks are and the food is all there. Ricky took us down the wrong way. Also looks like there's parking. Oh, and it looks like there's parking as well. Everywhere I look here, all these shops. I mean, it seems like they're in little blocks, but every single one is looking for assistance. They need help. No one's working. Across the road there, I see it's Cozy Burger. That was our goal. We've made it. They're quite famous. So it's been explained to us, Ricky remembers. Uh, the Louisiana is hot, it actually tells you there, so it's not too much uh. to remember. <laughs> hot, this one is a little bit more mild, but still spicy, with some cheese. The buffalo is medium, with like a sweet buffalo sauce. And I assume the cheesy one is with cheese. Mm -hmm. And the double is just huge. It's insane, yes. <laughs> Quick update. Yeah, I missed this. You can add on a garlic, chili, or a slice of cheese for 10, so it brings it up to 200. Perfect. Here we are. Keep it cozy. What a beautiful place. Oh man, I'm so glad we finally made it here. It's really, really beautiful. I love the burnt wood. It is so trendy. It really is. I love the black and wood, and the lights even 
They don't flicker on my camera. Brilliant. And yes, and it's air conditioned. Found the perfect spot. Love the concrete wall. This place is just so epic. Mm -hmm. It's like TikTok paradise. Let's see if the burger delivers. <laughs> Awkward being watched. Cozy burger. It's arrived! Oh man! Let's get sauces and things with it. Custom paper. Wow. Oh look at that! Oh man! It's hot. It is. It's really fresh, and I can tell immediately this is like a McDonald's bun. It's really soft and squishy bun. Have you ever? I've never seen a chicken burger that big. Never. That is massive. Wow. Oh, and saucy. Incredible. Mm. Chicken is so big. It's oozing out of the burger. <laughs> oh, some um. sort of sauce. Mm. It's like a mustard mayo. Mustard mayo. Oh, quite nice actually. Finally a cozy burger. Ooh. Oh wow. Mm. That crispiness is so good. Have a little bit messy. <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> that was just so good. You, hardly, you didn't even get any bun, you got just chicken. I know, it's How's massive. <laughs> wow, and it's really juicy. Mm -hmm. Oh no, my word. That is so soft. Wow. She is stunned, lust for words. No, seriously, because you got this crispy coating, right? But then you bite into the chicken and it's like not even there. Oh, I don't know if you can see that. I, I don't know what they've done to this. Look at it. My word. And the sauce is amazing. I want to show you guys something. Okay. Because I'm not sure about this. Look at this, right? Wow. Uh, this is me investigating food. Food that I don't understand. How it's like, how did they make that chicken soft? It's hot, 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 hot. Oh. But look at it. It reminds me of something. Like a soft brownie chicken thing. This is Ricky's favorite type of burger, where she can pull the chicken out and dip it. <laughs> I think that is in there as well. Okay. Oh, I wish they just sold chicken. They <laughs> just get chicken nuggets and dip it. That chicken is the best I've ever tasted. <gasps> Did you hear that? The best she's ever tasted. Mouth watering. Uh -huh. mm. Yeah. It's like so easy mm. to just take a massive bite of that chicken. Mm. The only problem is it's hot. It's very hot. It's super fresh. I mean, that's oh, what I love about it is its freshness. The bun, the lettuce, the chicken, everything is uber fresh. And can you only see why Cozy Burger is so famous? Me too. <laughs> of course you have to. Because it's not messy enough. <laughs> That's a good burger, guys. If you're in Phoenix, mm -hmm. definitely, definitely, 100% recommend. I can't believe it's such a thick chicken burger, but so tasty. It's so juicy. I'm not sure how you get all the stickiness off your finger, because they don't have toilets, unfortunately. Mm. Need wet wipes. Need wet wipes. <laughs> it's gotten busy now. We got there just in time. <laughs> Oh wow, if you haven't been to Cozy Burger yet, you've got to come. It is so good. That chicken is so, so juicy and tasty and crispy and soft and sticky and you're just going to love it. <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> Sun City Snack. I think they sell DVDs. Total Phoenix. Ricky looking for a toilet. Good news guys, Total Phoenix has a toilet. I can't get closer because of the law about phones and petrol. Probably the only bathroom tour in Phoenix. Total petrol station, not bad. 
<laughs> well, as you can see from Ricky's just earlier, but of course it's raining. Of course we're up in the highlands where it always rains. <laughs> the million ice, the million ice. It's actually, they make a, a, a rolled ice cream, but they also do fancy burgers. We'll definitely check them out at some point. And Zumba Fitness. After your burger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they do reggaeton, Latin and belly oh, dancing. Awesome. Dance school. It's a dance school. Oh, we got some comfies and you can get watermelon pieces. Oh man, and little pineapples. Here's the guy actually peeling some uh, Pineapple. pineapples. Pineapple. Amigos Grill, it's just opening. We're obviously too early still, too early. Oh, this is another QFC, quick and fried chicken. They have one in Beaubassin and they're hiring cashiers and cooks. Oh, and here's another Amigos, but it's Amigos Briani. They do Briani, dine and family restaurant. Amigo Briani. And look, this is the Amigo Briani. Oh, wow, look at that. So hot and ready to go, guys. I can smell it. Yeah. It smells so good. Thank you so much. Hey, oh, man, he's giving me a taste. Ooh, oh, 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 it's really hot. No, it's really hot. <laughs> pass the Briani, pass the oh, Briani. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. Taste as good as it smells? That was such good rice. Oh man. Oh, it's like that proper rice like you made. Mm. Oh wow. We'll have oh, to come here for biryani sometime. We're, we're definitely going to have to. We're eating all those cozy burgers. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, Phoenix is the home of Phoenix Beverages, the famous Phoenix beer. But it's not quite in this section. Never seen a beer yet. We did a video showing you where it is. I'll put a card. <laughs> Lost City Palace. You guys might be thinking I'm just showing you food places, but that's all there is. There are so many food places. I must admit, when we drove past this place, I genuinely thought it was a casino. It's like Lost City Palace. But it's not, it's food. The Lost City Palace, massive restaurant. There's even seating upstairs. And they do great looking foods. Check it out. You're going to see it. It says Lost City. And, and it, it really isn't a casino, it is food and it's great food. It just has that, that casino colouring, I yeah, suppose. No, it's in South Africa, Lost City. Oh yes, the Lost City in South Africa. And there's another store up here that's actually Sun City. Yes, oh, I, saw the, yes. I saw the eggs and I came across and look, he's making chicken tikka. Yeah. I don't think I've seen anyone ever frying chicken tikka before. Oh wow, <laughs> it's so fluffy from the eggs. Oh man, on the, on the gas, on the gas. And he's got tons of them here. Mm. I've never seen chicken, tikka chicken. He's made right on the street, thank you. That is so awesome. You might have noticed last time we were at the Total, we were walking in that direction, it was raining and now the sun's out. And nothing new. And now it's raining again. Oh yeah, while we're mentioning the total, because I actually saw signs on this one, cash only accepted. If you haven't been to Mauritius for a while, a lot of the petrol stations now do not take cards. So, check before. You got some parking here, yeah? someone's coming in, they're hooting at me. But it seems like all the food's here as well. Look at those guavas. They have some green ones as well. And of course he's got all sorts of things. Which one is this? I'm trying something. You filming me, Rick? Yeah. I don't know what it is. It looks like a potato. <laughs> I don't know what it is. What is this? Some <laughs> good Chinese potato. Oh wow! It is a potato. Mm. Oh, I'm still recording. Wow! It's a potato. It's a Chinese potato. I've been really wanting to try one of these. Oh, is this that thing that we saw mm. at uh, Kill Peak? Oh, it's pretty nice. Um, how do I describe this to you? It's very similar to the pear. It tastes just like a pear. It's a pear. But it's a potato. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. Yeah, That's it's how sweet. sweet it is. <laughs> You're getting potato. Yeah, no, it's actually really delicious. I'm so glad we tried this. Five. I put one. Six. Thank you. <laughs> no chili salt. No, I love the chili salt. Just Go for it. Get the chili salt. A little bit of chili salt. Yes, yeah, please. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> and then the, the magic stuff, tamarind. Tamarind. Oh. oh, wonderful snack. That bag's 25 rupees. Trying something new is always awesome. 
So come here if you're in Phoenix and get yourself a potato. Or it's shushu. a Or shoo shoo, that's the shoo shoo. It was sweet. It was. But this potato. Chinese potatoes, not Ch regular potatoes. Don't do this with regular potatoes. No, definitely not regular. <laughs> Chinese potatoes only. <laughs> you can eat them raw. This is the fancy food palace. And they've got fancy food. Oh wow, they've got nice looking stuff. And it says they've got the man fromage. Man fromage. And poulet and plain. We wouldn't manage getting a, getting a poulet. We've never tried one. We're going to get a poulet one if they have it. Man poulet. So we're going to try that a little bit later. But look at all these cakes here. They look amazing. They look so soft. They really do. They look so good. And there's a few things I haven't seen before like this. What is that? It's and got then, cream on the and inside. And then the biscuits at the front. Go have a look. Watch the skip. Oh, it's Those a bit dark. Amazing, they're like big cookies. Massive cookies. I kind of feel like a whirlwind. one. You want a cookie? <laughs> yeah, don't you want a cookie? Of course, I want a cookie. Couldn't help ourselves. Ricky got the cookie as well. Oh, because it smells great. Come on, let's get up before we buy more. Oh man, we got home and forgot to show you the bread. <laughs> Typical us. Oh, look there at that. It is. It's a little different from the one we made. It's much bigger. Yeah, but it looks lovely. How's Check the pool? How's the pool? Oh, nice is that the chicken on the inside? Yeah. That looks look like that. loads of chicken. Wow. I wasn't quite expecting that. Oh, and you can smell. It's mm. like the, that pate chicken. Yeah. This bread is strong. Oh, it's yeah. quite a bit of chicken in there. What do you mean? But that's a load. Yeah, it's like a chicken pie. It is. It's like those chicken pastry things. Mm. Good bread. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, there you go. So our first ever chicken cheese nan. What do you chicken call it? Nan. Chicken <laughs> nan. <laughs> For Ramadan. Mm-hmm. And another biryani place, Bez Briani. I'm gonna say it right now. Phoenix seems to be, well, this street, the place for food. I don't know. We've eaten <laughs> so much. And we still got more. And look, Safa Grill. <laughs> There's another place. Oh, and they got some other fruits here. Look at these exotic grapes. This is a vegetable guy, right? Right next door to him is a tackle shop if you need to go fishing. It's got fishing rods and lures and everything you need for fishing. And you just saw that. That was fruit, that was food and fishing stuff. So catch your own food. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna pop a piece of walkway. And I just love this street. If you wanna eat, come to this street. It's a lot of fun, but a lot of food. The Dodo Guest House. Huh. This is kind of a boring bit to walk, so... We're not. Come drive with us. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know what we're going to see here. Uh, there's another church there. Uh, looks like a few snack shops. Oh, there are loads of snack shops. Yeah, but there are even more where we're going, I'm sure. Yeah, that's why we're going there. Well, that's why we were there earlier, and now we're doing this <laughs> afterwards. Sequencing, you guys. work it out. <laughs> well, the police station's here. Phoenix police station. I thought it'd be bigger. Yeah. They have loads of pedestrian crossings, so always cross on a pedestrian. Oh, that Ramadan bread. The bakery oh, really? there. Yummy. Oh, man. Oh, man. Hopefully, where we're going, we'll find some more. And car dealerships. There's a lot of car dealerships in Phoenix. Oh, and this is the dream price. And Amigos, Amigos is here. I think they only open, oh, they seem to be open now. Yeah, so this is the area we want to be in, I think. I think it's as far as, oh, uh, there's the old Amigos. Ah, uh, okay, that's why I was confused. Oncoming traffic. Uh, total garage, we are driving on the pavement almost. <laughs> because they're buses. Yeah. And now, we're gonna find some parking. All the way down the other side of the A10, St. Paul's. Church, cathedral. I think it's a church. I think it's an Anglican church. 1895. I know that because it says it on the door. Ha <laughs> ha! 1895. Oh wow, look at these grand steel doors. Wow, they're cool. Oh, and heavy. <laughs> yeah, made of steel. 
Wow, it's a really big church and the wooden stuff is really great. But I wanted to show you this. Have a look at this stonework inlay. Oh man. I think this is called the altar, but if you have a look at it, it's actually cut out of stone. That is really beautiful stonework. Oh man, the skill it must take to cut those out of actual stone. Wow, and this is marble. It is almost impossible to get stained glass windows, but these are some beauties. On my way, on my way. And the church is in quite a beautiful location. You've got great views of the mountains. Don't know if you can see at the top there, but it's like a cockerel, a wind, a wind thing. And you can actually see the clouds moving away in the direction. Don't know if you guys can see the clouds moving. <laughs> it's incredibly windy, but Brian's got the drone up to get some footage of the church. This looks so amazing from this angle. Let's see if we can see the mountains. Even though it's buffeted by the wind a little. And the whole of Phoenix. And for all the Christians watching, happy Easter everyone. I think that's right, Easter Sunday today. Beautiful gardens and trees. Now that I'm up close, you can see that it's all different stones. So it might have been re remade. Uh, there might have been the original building here, but you can actually see that some of these stones have been taken from somewhere else and put here. This is solid. This is stone, this is actual stone, this is a stone foundation. I thought it was concrete, but it's actually, if you look, it's pieces of stone with concrete in it. So it was probably very old in here all along. Well, on this side of the street, everything is called St. Paul. St. Paul's concept store. We'll have to go see what a concept store is. Over there is a tobaggy, St. Paul. And there's another one just over there that I saw is also called St. Paul. This is the actual St. Paul's concept shop. They've got some shoes, bags, umbrellas. Uh, and I suppose these are the concept things. Water dispenser pump. Take one of these and you can get your water straight from it. Is this the water dispenser pump? Have a look at this guys. This is the water dispenser pump. Wow. So you don't have to buy one of those big things. You can just buy the, the, the little things and they're refillable. That's really clever. With a little pump on top. That is brilliant. It's charged like a mobile. Same. Wow. You charge mobile, same, you charge the same thing. That's so you cool. just charge it where you charge your phone. Brilliant. Here it is, $5.95. And this is the St. Paul Market. It's 1978. 1978. They sell just regular market things, I think. And across the road there is some old buildings. Still look like they've got shops in them and there's some snacks. This does look closed. But sometimes, remember, just go around the corner and have a look. There's a snack shop. There's a bakery here on the corner and it does smell amazing. This is, this is a hair shop. I've got to show you inside. I've got to show you something inside. Look at this. It's for kids. So the kids can sit in the car and get their hair cut. Brilliant. Well done, guys. The thing says we can cross, but we're never quite sure. It's quite loud. But yes, I think it's safe. The man is green, so we can cross. Wow, the Phoenix A10. It's a road to come to fill your belly. Well, anyway, everyone, thanks for watching. See you again next time. <laughs> you see?